very good morning to you, Karimbo, back to Y254 TV. Just in case you're getting to join us, this is Y in the morning, hashtag Thursday Vibes. And of course, I had told you before we went on that short break that we have a surprise for you. We have a guest for you. And this one is not your usual kind of guest. This one is, ooh. I've been, I've been telling him he's an answered prayer. And sure, for, he, for sure, he is an answered prayer. You know, Nimekwa Nikikwambia, he's from East Africa. He's a medical doctor by profession. He is a worshipper. Oof. Na feels junior and the ama ni nyamazia hapo. Lakini, ladies and gentlemen, karibu sheni sana, Dr. Ipiana. Karibu sana. Sandy Sam. Ulaka ni mwame shikuwa la shoku kidogo. Eh, ni meona wana shangiria sana. Yeah, so. Wana shangiria apana. I had put them on suspense. Oh, yeah. Niwambia, we have someone. And this someone is not their usual kind of guest. Yeah. So, we were waiting. But let me, let's just start from, from a medical doctor to a worshiper. Like, that transition, ooh. So, I'm born a worshiper who, happen to be a medical doctor. Mm. Sababu pia ni kwa raised kwenye uh, na wazazi ambao they are in health sector. My mom is a retired nurse. My dad was a health officer. So nimejipata nikiisha yo mazingira unenda hospital na mkuta mom and attend. So inspiration of course ya kuenda medical school. I remember one day I went to see mom at the hospital and uh, one of my nephew tulienda naye hapo hospital sasa akawa denied huduma kwa sababu doctor anasema muda wake umeisha so aka walk away the, the child yuko very sick na still huyo mtoto ni ndugu wa mama kwa mamangu ambaye ni nurse so kama anaweza ku ignore uh, the the kid ya nurse how much more kwa to back to watu wa kawaida mm -hmm. So I I have to go and uh, do medicine because I want to help someone ambaye hawezi kupata huduma ya, ya kidaktari. So yeah, that is uh, how it started. Lakini uh, you you're talking about the transition. So nimesema nilikuwa bado na na worship. My, my worship background nilianza Nimejikuta kwenye familia ambayo mama na baba pia ni Christian na ni waimbaji wazuri. Na tumelelewa kwenye hiyo mazingira. Uh, but uh, several, you, you go to, you see this open air crusade, wazazi wanakupeleka, unaenda, unampa yesu maisha yako. <laughs> so when you ask me, when did you like, uh, uh, got born again, sikumbuki, kwa sababu nimeenda mala nyingi sana. <laughs> But uh, 2001, don't really answer my personal relationship with God. Kwanza za kumtafuta mungu mimi kama mimi. Now that happened, nivo pata shule a bit far from home. My dad bought a bicycle for me like to ride because ukichukua tamatatu uliku always kufika vizuri. So on my way to uh, school, I was singing kunaenda. Again, nikitumia bicycle, nikuwa nafika haraka. So I don't want, I, I, I cut short of the worship atmosphere I'm going to make create. Mm -hmm. So when I say, let me start leaving the bicycle at home. Let me walk 5.1 kilometers. Up until I was to encounter the presence of God. Mm -hmm. 2001. So I was going to back at 2004 when I was completing my, my form 4. We have, yeah, 5011. So that's how God uh, developed my music skills and particularly worship skills. So medicine in Mekuja wakati mitari niko worship. Ah. So let me let me let me just ask you. Right now you're still a doctor. I'm a medical doctor. So nikikuja bado utanitibu. Na kutibu tu lakini it's not full time now. <laughs> I'm doing full time. <laughs> <laughs> do you, do you, do you feel like um maybe the people around you your parents wanna feel like you should have been a doctor, like you should yeah. have concentrated on, on yeah. being a medical doctor? Uh, it was very difficult for my dad. Because I was very proud that I was a doctor. But at some point, I was going to different countries. So you're going to different countries because of, of just singing. Because singing to us is not a big deal. Because we were going to sing, but singing is part and parcel of uh, our thing at home. 
So wakisi, kutumia wimbaji unenda siju South Africa, you're going to stay. Because of singing. Ah, basi mungu atakuwa mekuita uko, could just go on. So I can bless. Like it was very difficult for him to uh, receive that transition. By the way, the transition was not like, nimeamua, let me resign. Nilikuwa na resign for looking for another job. I was looking for another job. Lakini kajipata sasa, sijaifa nikia kupata another job kwa sababu ya ubize wa the ministry. Yeah. Ume, umeandika nyumbo mingi sana. Like, umeandika, umeimba nyumbo mingi sana. Great, yeah. What was that breaking point for you? Like, what was that point where God announced you to the world? Oh, so, uh, I was very afraid, like, to to record. Because nikuwa na mwambia mungu, what's the point of recording? Kusababu a lot of people around me were gonna mwambia, ukirekodi, unatoka. Eh, unaonekana, eh, nukwa famous, <laughs> nukwa celebrity. <laughs> because that, that, that is not my goal. My goal is to do my worship unto the Father. Lakini, so that has haunted me f for maybe uh, four years. Kwanzia uh, uh, tangia medical school. Uh, 2012 mbaka 2016 mungu amekuwa kini lazimisha record record lakini wana mwambia give me a reason why do you want me to, to do live recording so alipo ni pa reason kwa mnini aganyambia you see you are listening to those people ambao unasema ni mentors wako because they recorded au ambao unawasikiliza wasinge record usinge sikia so uh, nilianza 2016 kufanya worship gathering not recorded 2017 kafanya hizo nyingi 2018 nika record sasa baada sasa kujiridhisha kwamba i have a conducive atmosphere in east africa to be a live recording so the song inaitwa moyo wangu always wanishangaza matendo so the, the, yeah, so that that was our first live recording which i i we did in tanzania and being mixed in south africa na vitu kama hivyo so pale mungu ndo akanionyesha kwamba i can use even the swahili ya Tanzania ku impact the world because that album went number 9 on iTunes in South Africa. Akani oh. yes, akani akanionyesha kwamba it, it it can happen also. So usi usi zarau kwamba you don't have good stuff so you cannot you don't want to record. Kwa hiyo yeah, that, that the journey started Nina interest na vina kamilika. Oh ya. Yeah. Ulikuna, ulikuna, go, I love vina kamilika. Vina kamilika. <laughs> Nataka kujua, do wandike huo wimbo. Nini ilikuwa nafanyika kwa mesha hako yosa? So basically, mm -hmm. vina kamilika was not my song. Aha. Vina kamilika, uh, in Kinyarwanda, they say it vi, vi, viratungana. Mm -hmm. This is a guy lives in, who lives in uh, Canada. Siku moja nilikuwa hapa Nairobi, that was 2019. 2019 akanipigia simu akasema uh, I've been looking for a Tanzanian worship uh, leader because I have a song in Kinyarwanda mm -hmm. but I want it to be sung in Swahili can you help me please nikasema nitumie so that I listen nione kama the holy spirit will guide me because mm -hmm. I rarely sing mm -hmm. people's songs sababu so, sijui revelation wewe ulikuwa uko nyo wakati gani mpaka uimbe i don't want to sing because ni popular song nipate the revelation behind so alivyo nitumia that song hata sikuanza kuisikiliza sikuanza ku kuifanyia practice i had a lot of encounters just a simple piano anafanya a voice note i said god what is this So nika pa Kenya for a week napata two encounters nenda Tanzania for two encounters. So the covid came 2019 so we did not we were not able to to do it because we were supposed to go in Rwanda and record it. So akaniambia please make sure you record it in Tanzania in Swahili and I'll record it in Swahili somewhere else. So 2020 to record it in America. But it has ministered to me first. Ko inaonekana kama ni wimbo wangu kwa sababu yeah. now because that I mean you can't minister yeah, yeah I, I I engulfed it and I pray I prayed with it ndio maana nika 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 personalize eh vina kamilika ilinipata nikiwa mahali vili kamilika kama kitu vili kamilika vili kamilika daktari basi haina shaka uko na huu unafanya ibada clinic yeah nini likupush kuanza ibada clinic So uh, ibada clinic because the other day I asked Jesus just to evaluate myself. 
what do you want me to be doing unapenda nini nikifanya nikafikia akasema atasema napenda sana ukiimba <laughs> akaniambia I, i love when you train people to love me ah. i love when you teach people how to love me mm. so nikajipata sasa napenda sana sasa kuwafundisha watu njia ya kumpenda mko sababu when you read bible in uh, Psalm 34 verse 9 anasema fear the lord or you will sin mm. for those who fear him are lacking chochote so if you are lacking something that means the fear of god haipo kwa wingi ndani yako fear of god is constant desire to please god so if you teach people the fear of god they won't lack anything prayer points zita zita drop mm-hmm. baba naomba nyumba baba naomba gari <laughs> uh, naomba atop. nguo naomba pesa wengine wanasema naomba st naomba <laughs> sasa mambo gani hiyo clinic ime impact aje musicians Tanzania na uh, outside Tanzania by the grace of god you see uh, there are a lot of people i i rarely mention them lakini kwa sababu pia wakisema wao ninapata go ahead ya kusema Gwamaka I've stayed for Gwam, with Gwamaka or essence of worship in my room for maybe uh, five years alikuwa anakuja so na tuna train hizo clinic on how now you can so is the clinic kazi yake ni kumsaidia worshipper aweze ku handle fame mm-hmm. uendelee kuwa dr ipiana mm-hmm. hata kama you have millions of views uendelee kuwa binadamu unashikika kiraisi mm. sasa kutume, tumeweka notion mbaya kwamba uh, unaanza kuoneka ukionekana stage unataka uchukue maisha yako ya stage ndio waonyeshe watu <laughs> uta, uishi na kila mtu hivyo mm. kuenda pesa kuenda maarufu na kuenda uh, to, 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 to just to handle the presence of god because this thing is very heavy and you need uh, training on how you can navigate through it yeah muziki wako ume evolve aje kutoka wakati ulifanya that first recording mm. ya um, moyo wangu mm. mpaka sasa hizi ni sema nini hey. you see umona, you're, you're speaking actually prophetically mm-hmm. the moyo wangu uh, is all about thanksgiving mm. moyo wangu hauwezi kukusifu kwe ila sifa zangu is bwana zikuba umefanya umefanya mm-hmm. Ni sema nini siwezi kueleza baba ni uliyoyatenda kwa so it's all about thanksgiving mm-hmm. throughout the history ya maisha yangu ninatamaniki ku summarize ku summarize my life in a 15 minutes of a song kwamba this is me thanking god mm-hmm. and i want to pour myself out there ndani ya dakika 15 mtu aelewe so nani evol- evolution imetokea kubwa lakini in a, the same mes- message of thanksgiving utapata kama una we, una nyumba mingi lakini ni same kiswahili changu si no 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 you can use any language <laughs> si ka change cha, cha cha Tanzania lakini you have a lot of music like a lot of songs you've written Digressive. and for a lot of musicians tukiuliza which is your favorite song tunawekanga kwa point of lakini ni wimbo gani huo wenye ukisikiza kila siku hiyo wimbo huo wimbo una it's your favorite song There's a song called Nashangazwa na pendo lako yeah. Nashangazwa na pendo lako it's not a popular song because it's my song to God yeah. So by the way hata niseme nini it wasn't my favorite song mm-hmm. nilikuwa tu kona I was invited once in uh, South Africa and uh, last month in august nilivo rudi the holy spirit told me ondoka sasa kwenye mitandao cuz at that particular point ndo nilitaka niachilie wimbo unaitwa asante yesu nilifanya featuring na the guy anaitwa takindo wa spirit of praise in south africa so nitamani kulilize huo kwa sababu ta nimefanya collab na south africa ni nani i think god akaniambia huo wimbo utoi like pia second thing nenda off media So after three weeks akaniambia sasa ni toni sema nini it wasn't my favorite so najua watu wengi walikuwa na expect ni sema nini that is not yeah, it wasn't my favorite sasa nilipoanza kusikiliza kwa sababu now when you when ukiwa unaongea you are speaking your heart yeah ili ni ni ku ni ku ni ku one moyo wako na nini nitakwacha uongee 
when you speak i know ah so nilipoanza kusikiza wimbo then i saw myself no kwanza kuwa my favorite but in the first place it wasn't so my favorite song till now unaitwa nashangazwa na pendo lako uko youtube uh una express una express the love of god kwangu the way ambavyo ameenda nami na ambavyo siwezi bila because i made a covenant with him kwamba i don't want fame i don't want money i don't want any form of things ambazo watu wanazichess mm. mimi ni zichess mm. kwa hiyo nikamwambia sijawahi weza bila wewe yesu wala mm. sitamani kuja kuweza bila wewe i don't want to 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 to, to have to 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 put my trust on myself so nilikuwa na namwekea it's like a covenant na sign pale contract a covenant kwamba Mungu I do hata kama utaniinua vipi hata kama niende wapi I mimi sijawahi uweza bila wewe unajua wakati wa kwanza nilisikia huo wimbo nilifikiria ni two different songs the mm, first mm, part mm, and the second mm, the second part because mm. I think they were released they, there's a part that yeah we they actually were separated it's separated yeah. Yeah. So later and only realize it's actually one song. Yeah. Let's talk about Grandi Bada. So Grandi Bada is a ministry ambayo mm-hmm. uh, tuna na uh, it's a gathering Grandi Bada is ministry ambayo sasa okay my, our vision is to create to expand the kingdom of God like in by the two of music. Mm-hmm. So Grandi Bada now ni an altar now ambayo sasa tunaitumia watu wa, 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 wa kutane na Mungu through music. Mm-hmm you know some unaweza kuwa ni prophetess lakini your bait inaweza kuwa ni music unawavuta mm-hmm. watu wakija ndo wanapata wana enjoy prophetic, prophetic gift so i have my ministry i know i don't want to isema <laughs> <laughs> lakini my bait ku attract people mm-hmm. niseme nini siwezi <laughs> hata maslay queen waje wakija sasa na tutakuja piga injili <laughs> wanakuja wanapatana na yeah. encounter. Yaani shangaza matendo yako. Eh hey, Dr. Kala na vibe ukija sasa. Nakwambia you have to receive Jesus Christ as <laughs> Lord and Savior. Bible inatoka kwa Yesu. Kabisa. <laughs> <laughs> so Grand Ibadan is a minister ambaye iko iko hivyo na by the grace of God we are here in Kenya for the grand praise. Meaning kwamba we want to recognize the presence of Jesus in the city of Nairobi. Okay. Why Nairobi? Kusababu we believe this is a is a is a is a gate of East Africa mm. kwa sababu ukifanya vitu Nairobi vinaenda kwa sababu Mungu ameiordeni hivyo this mm. is a source of revival springboard of revival tumesikia sana so we just want to honor this gate ndio maana tumetoka Tanzania we are coming to do this mega worship gathering night of grand praise to recognize the presence of Jesus in the city you see if we have a uh, we have a guest of honor ameingia kwa function I suppose I could recognize you can't benefit from from him. So yes upo Nairobi. Ila sasa usipo recognize kwamba upo through grand praising him, worshiping him. Hata mm. ataweza kuonyesha nguvu zake. Mm. Kwa tumekuja kumrecognize Jesus in this uh, gate. From your post here Instagram. Yeah. Um you had written I he asked or rather I asked oh. which city he said Nairobi. Yes. So how do you get the unction to visit a city? So uh first of all through prayers mm-hmm. and the demand ambayo uh maybe the cry in the city in the demand in the realm of the mm-hmm. spirit mm-hmm. because ukiniuliza i would want yani ningeenda in our own city like mm-hmm. this place in Etwambea you see this big 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 uh, these men of god ambao god has given them grace in mm-hmm. Tanzania the singers all of them are coming from a place in Etwambea in Tanzania southern mm-hmm. part of Tanzania mm-hmm. and all of us are Nyakyusa so Paul Clement Gwamaka mwaka mm-hmm. even Gwamaka means someone might with mighty ah. so Paul Clement mwaka nyamare mm-hmm. Joel Ruaga mm-hmm. yeah, all um, so so we tungependa sana kwenda in our city to do a mega thing mm-hmm. lakini there's a cry and demand of a uh, revival through worship in Nairobi that's why God is also pushing us to do something here You are a songwriter, a producer. Glory to God. Um I'm, I'm trying to find whether I'm a songwriter, a producer, you're an instrumentalist. I was looking for that one. Mm. Do you form the structure of your music alone or you do it with another team or unaketi unasema this is how 
I want the instrumental because now you can produce, mm. you can mm. play, you can write, you sing. Mm. So how do you go about uh, writing, producing your music? So those songs which are very sensitive uh, to my heart, kuna zile song like mara nyingi nikiimba up tempo na jionaga siko serious. So that one I can give anyone to <laughs> to help me. But okay. those songs ambazo I just want to express deep respect, deep feeling, mm. like in semeni, nitakwambia to please I want these chords. Nitakupa na fast I have very good producers uh, vijana wangu ambao nawaambia I want you to play this song. How can you play kwenye style yako? Kabla hata hajasikia how I play so that I also get a creative part ya 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 kwake. So uh, uh, lakini those songs ambazo ninaona uh, zinatamani ku involve audience na vibe na mpa mtu yeyote ili sasa ni si compromise. Yeah. How do you handle um, issues to do with copywriting? Uh, so we we have uh, I normally distribute through digital platform mm -hmm. TuneCo and all the stuff mm -hmm. ambao sasa wana wana content ID. Mm. Content ID ni ki release kule, they, they copyright mm. my songs everywhere ambazo zina kwa played. So, even if you gonna play my song in church, sometimes ukaweka live YouTube, utakuwa copyrighted kwa sababu uh, wamesikia wale watu wanao distribute kwa mbo umeplay, umeimba wimbo wangu. <laughs> So that's how I handle the, the copyright like in Monzone it was very difficult because some people wali 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 hack waka wana claim nyimbo zangu kama ni zao mm. so it was very difficult but I thank God niweza ku resolve your issue yeah between um ku record Wimbo Co studio mm. na kupea watu experience in a live music recording mm. what would you prefer I love the live experience because I believe mm -hmm. it's a Rema thing, mm -hmm. like it's a now thing. Mm -hmm. You see, recording kwa studio, unashanga a guitar imepigwa kakamega. <laughs> alafu, alafu, sin, drums, yui, uh, composition, Eldoret. Alafu, muimbaji ya metokea macha ako. <laughs> alafu, wote mnakutana Nairobi. <laughs> Kila so, mtana toka kwa kia na kuja. Yes, kwa na feeling of that day ineza kuwa siyo feeling ya that day. Alifu yeah. kwa na play guitar, juice is not mm -hmm. the feeling of the day ambao unakuja kuimba. Mm -hmm. So I normally like when the, 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 the mood is set and everyone is playing the rema thing, the now music ya saa hiyo. Ninaamini that one can minister to the heart of God na mungu waka minister kwa watu waki. I, I know streaming services zime, zime side a lot of um, musicians That's to right. push out mm. uh, their music. Mm. What's the impact? What has the impact? What has been the impact of streaming services in your ministry oh. and your music? Oh, that one has brought a huge, huge impact, especially in Kenya. Kusababu, even if you go through my YouTube is on a knee, is a, is, a, is a inside, I don't know how to call it them. Like in Unona, the country ya Kwanza mbao, in terms of viewership, ni watu wa Kenya. Na the city ya Kwanza ni Nairobi. So, digital platform na streaming services, zimesaidia uduma yende mbali. I get calls from Nigeria, can, uh, Canada, where? Uh, Ghana and all this stuff. So, inapata neema kubwa sana kwa sababu ya digital platform na hizo streaming. Yeah. Amazing. To to really hope and the way your personal life. Yeah. If you weren't a musician, if you are not a doctor, unge kuwa nini? Ah, kwenye Instagram muona na lima lima hivi. Eh, nili ono na lima lima. So I like garden. I like uh, like uh, to grow, like just to keep some livestock. Mm. Udumia udumia pale. Na penda life yewe na endelea. Mm kwenye my environment spend mm. environment ambayo inakuwa na pavement too hamna greenish mm. hamna nini i want to yeah I, I, I like eden experience niweze kuona some few livestock hapo kuku niende kuokota mayai yeah that's na, nice napenda hivyo vitu 
Yeah. Siku yako inakaje? Typically siku yako ukiamka asubuhi mpaka jioni, how does your day look like? So uh, that is very important uh, especially for youth kwa sababu for Dr. Ipiana endele kwa Dr. Ipiana lazima wewe na kitu kinaitwa routine. Mm -hmm. Ambacho everyone duniani ambaye ni famous ana routine. So asubuhi nikiamka lazima ni express my love and deep respect to Yahweh. So mm -hmm. I might not be singing but naweza kuweka worship music just to mwambia Mungu na kupenda. That is very that is my ibada clinic now. Mm -hmm. Spiritual checkup kwamba Mungu niko poa. So I love God, I express my love. Simwambi chochote kwamba ada sina sina rent sina nini. No, that's expression of love. Lakini pia kwa sababu ni Dr. Ipiana lazima niangalie ma mentors wangapi wa, wamefanya nini uko inspiration ili niji equip sasa. So after that nasoma the inspiration neno la Mungu at least few minutes nipate Mungu anaongea nini lakini na go through ideas huko ndani kuna ideas nyingi kwenye simu e, nyimbo ambazo ya mkini ni record wakati na tesha mm -hmm. gani kanirecord lazima ni go through kwa sababu ya mkini huo wimbo ndo wakati wake mm -hmm. so i develop ideas and i do the warm ups kidogo if i can now go ahead and face my day mm -hmm. okay ni ni ninaambiwa muda unakuja <laughs> unatupa kisogo lakini <laughs> ningependa kukuliza swali yeah. mtu moha, mtu ambaye akujui mtu mm. ambaye anakuona maybe tuseme once in in what will do you want people to remember you for what will do you want the world to remember dr ipiana as natamani watu wawe inspired kumpenda mungu tu and uh, wakiniona mimi we were challenged to love God more and more. So, through music. I insist through music. So, popote ambapo mziki wangu utasikika ambo mungu wame kuwepo na inspiration ambu ina wadraw watu to the secret place. Hata baada miaka miyamoja ni kiondoka, watu wakisikiliza wimbo wa mungu wa vute kwa ke wampende. Uneza ambia nini a worshiper mwenye anaku watch leo na hajui anzie wapi ama ameanza mm. ako tu mahali anataka tu neno tu sema neno so basically god ambaye umempenda in secret ndo huyo ambaye atajionyesha public simple like that you cannot worship god uh, past your private worship with him like you cannot exceed your private worship huko duniani so that means unaona unaona Yesu alimwambia shetani alimwambia Yesu ukiniabudu nitakupa so that means provision comes when you worship god kwa hiyo huko nje kuna competition ya worship devil mm -hmm. atataka kama ni muworship ili akupe lakini jesus also ana fight to worship ili akupe so usipambane kutafuta kick trend au kuonekana juu fanya what you are supposed to be doing in na, la malizia psalms 91 verse 14 anasema because he has set his love toward me i will lift him up alafu nitamfanya ajulikane jina lake kwa sababu amejua jina langu so kujulikana is a is a side effect of you knowing god you're not fighting to be a famous person or celebrity unajipata tu umeji umejikuta huko 254 mimi sikuplani hata yeah. Yeah. Yes. So alicho <laughs> kitengeneza we came by prayer. Yeah. We are sustained by, by prayer. prayer. We go by, by prayer. prayer. <laughs> As we wind up that uh, you talk to that young person. You are in Nairobi mm. and you're holding a big I don't like calling um, church events events. Mm -hmm. I, I call them encounters. Mm -hmm. You you're holding an encounter tomorrow mm -hmm. in Sitam. Mm. And you Part of the people, or rather majority of the people that mm. will come, are mm. young people. And this station mm. is, um, is, 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 a, is our main flagship, is, are the young people. Mm. I want you to give a message mm. to the young people. A young mm. person who's out there watching you this morning, mm. anakuangalia, anatafta inspiration, so. ameko inspired, amesikia nyimbo zako. Na sasa leo, amekusikia ukiongea, so. si ukiimba. Uneza tumia hii kamera. So, uh, your cry, I actually... Uh, very intentional na mtu ambaye there's a cry in their heart kwamba Mungu I want the clear direction 
ya mimi unataka nifanye nini hiyo cry can only be quenched during worship encounters ambazo uh, Mungu anaweza kukusaidia one of it ni kesho kwa hiyo nakushauri kwamba mimi mwenyewe nilim encounter Mungu kwenye stage ya kwako ambao upo so na Mungu na God has promised us this is the coming revival itakuwa carried sana na youth so njo tu kwenye revival service tumwabudu Mungu na majibu yako mengi yatapatikana hapo Mungu kubariki sana Amina asante sana kwa kuja Thank you so much. on the road wewe ni chita ama wewe ni tortoise ah. <laughs> <laughs> Nikiwa na drive Yes <laughs> Unapenda speed au ah. unasema hakuna mahali tunaharakisha ah. kwenda Mimi kwa kweli napenda speed Ah kwa kweli napenda speed mpaka wakati Holy Spirit atakwambia achi hapo eh yeah, kwamba bana angalia 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 hiyo so ndo na, na pause lakini ah ni drive na my wife ah ni kuomba tu so ah. i'm sorry excuse i'm sorry samaa <laughs> mama wataki mambo yakukimbia yeah. yeah. Asante sana. Daktari tumeshukuru kwa kuja. For having me. Asante for your time. Kuzungumza na sisi. Amen. Mungu akubariki sana. Asante. That was Dr. Ipiana. I told you it was bound to be something and it has been something quite something quite an edifying conversation if you ask me. If you uh, go on his social media handles, go on his YouTube channel Dr. Ipiana, check his music, listen, get inspired, get um get an encounter with god yeah and i'm sure you'll get pushed somewhere yeah it's 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 that deep it's that heavy but we're taking a short break don't touch that dial steph is coming back with sport on tech <laughs>